All right, so I want to uh, go through a couple charts I posted. <clears throat> I got six of them actually. I'm going to run through real quick. Uh, these are ones that uh, have some potential setups and do not have earnings coming up here in the next week or two. So it might give them a little time to do their thing. Um, there's a lot of stocks with earnings, so um, you got to kind of pay attention to that when you're going into trades if you've got earnings coming up too. Um, so I'm going to start with Adobe here. Uh, ADBE is the symbol. So it's been in kind of a channel here, um, really clearly defined channel. And I don't have any <clears throat> ind indicators that are suggesting that it's uh, going to roll over, pull back or anything, but um, marks have been a little... Uh, a little weak, so um, kind of going off of this high here, so we can kind of follow this. It bounces back and forth between here too. Um, it doesn't make it up to the top, top channel every time, so um, you know this tried to make the new high here. Well, it did. Didn't ever make it to the top channel. Kind of come back, bounced uh, here at touch. Come back, bounced. Never made it up there. Come back, bounced. So I mean, this is a real definite pattern here. I think. Um, so let's zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, so there's our uh, previous high. So you see we broke above a little bit, we closed, but we reversed, we tried it again. We continued um, above that high, but the following day did not um, continue the breakout above that. So I know we've been two days here. So if you look at indicators here, I use MACD, it's kind of flattening out, but um, you know, you get one green day and then this is still upward sloping. Same thing on, I use TTM squeeze. There's nothing really indicating that it's going to pull back, but um, if you have some market weakness and we're kind of already a new high and it's kind of struggled for what, six days there now. So there's a chance that could um, pull back in there too. So uh, a trade you could put in there, um, what are we here, about 257, 50, that, that's kind of the, the line there. Um, if you went a week out or something, if you did a, a put spread with your bottom strike being 257.50. Uh, so you got 250 wide spread for 134. Um, that's not too bad. Or you can go a little, a little farther out and maybe a little more aggressive on the strikes here. So we go at 257, 255 spread. We're at a dollar. And we'll call it dollar five or something there too. So it would just need to be below two fifty five um, by August third. So um, and here's the week. So we're saying two fifty five is right uh, right there. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean, if, if it continues that trend, even if it stays flat for a few more days, if it pulls back, if we kind of look at this, I mean, that that's. That's fairly possible if it, if it is going to make that bounce off of that. So that's one to, one thing to, to keep an eye on there on Adobe. Um, what was our next one? Uh, CRM, uh, Salesforce here. Um, kind of the same sort of setup on this, really. Um, it's been in kind of a channel here. Uh, you can see the MACD here starting to kind of roll over a little bit. Um, usually on these new highs, um, for the pullback, what I kind of look for, let me zoom in here a little bit, it's kind of the same thing you see with Adobe, where, where you get like four days where it is, you know, like these, you know, you got four days where it's, you know, within those four days, it's making a new high, it's making a new high. Um, so right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days where there was its high right there, so it broke above, well, same thing as Adobe here. Um, so it kind of broke above, reversed here. Now it broke above close, kind of continued there. So then it came back a little stronger. There's our high, and it has not hit that for the next five days after that too. So, um, and this pink line is the eight uh, double EMA. So um, it works a little bit quicker. It really follows the stock pretty well. But when you start seeing it trading under that and that starts curving over, that's kind of the thing there. And you can see this is, just about ready to cross here. Um, so same thing, it's kind of traded within this channel. It's not always touching the bottom of that channel the last few times. So, I mean, really this has been pretty strong here lately, but we'll say even if it comes back, probably the 50 MA would probably be the target. Well, at least the 20 anyway. So, um, I'm going out a little bit. So like, we'll say the one, 
142 um, as the bottom strike on a put spread. We'll see what that would run real quick too. So um, let's see, we'll go. If I was going a week out, I'd only do a 145 probably. Eh, let, let's look at 145 either way. Um, so a 146, 145 put spread. That's actually a really good price on that, I think. Um, what's our implied move? Three dollars. Yeah, I mean that that's a that's a pretty good risk reward. I'm gonna save that trade actually. I like that one. Um, there. Okay. So going back to charts. Uh, let's see what's our next one. FedEx. Okay. Um, FedEx had. I mean, it was really up here. It was two seventy four for a while, and. Um, Let's see, earnings here. Here's where something went south um, right after their earnings. It was, I mean, they had a little bit of a drop that day, but it continued down for a long time. I've got a couple of uh, support lines drawn in there from here back to here. See those just a little bit. I, I mean, they're kind of light, but I, I mean, it has kind of followed that though, too, if you start looking in here. That, that has actually held up. So it kind of bounced in that bottom one popped above, it's kind of held that sense, popped above here. Um, and that's the 20, um, 20 day moving average there. So um, you got your MACDs um, sloping upwards here, TTM squeeze, uh, that's kind of trending up to, um, I've got an alert set at 237.36. So um, if it, I wouldn't say enter that if it, you know, just breaks above that real quick, but if it closes into that area, you're going to have kind of a short area to work with because that you get that 250 day. But if it breaks above that, you might be able to do kind of an in the money, um, you know, like a two, you know, let's see, let's see what that's trading for. 237. Um, we'll just say that we'll say that happens on Monday. So 237 for your top strength. So do a 235. I like to do spreads just because of the cost of entry. Um, and you don't have the time decay issue more than, you know as much as straight calls but you guys can do straight calls of course too so that's a one you know dollar ten dollar fourteen or something like that on that spread so that's not too bad of a price then um and then let's see next one was low uh let's see and they one thing to watch they've got a dividend of 50 cents coming up too so um typically the stock will kind of open um that amount down really doesn't affect what it does the rest of the day though. So sometimes that's irrelevant. We've got a couple of support areas here. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of interested to see what happens with this. I have a feeling I know where this is going, but um, it's kind of at the top of the Bollinger's here. We've got a little bit, let's see, the right there, there's our previous high. So there's our uh, resistance. Um, this one, we have a little bit kind of right in here, a little bit of resistance there, a little support. But you see it kind of broke through that and then it kind of popped back up through it. So um, that's our two areas to watch. But um, I would say you've got a real small area to work with here. Um, but, you know, if you're doing just straight puts or something here, if you bought, you know, the 101s, 102s, something like that. Um, if I was doing a spread, I would go two weeks out with probably 100 being the bottom. Um, so I would go August 3rd and probably, well, I don't like the open interest on that, but we'll just use this for an example anyway. All right. So 101, 100, yeah, 52. So, um, I forget what that, that CRM I think looks like the best setup so far that I see as far as a uh, risk reward. Um, and then we'll go back to, and all, all four of those so far, no earnings come up. You want to watch the dividend on that too. Um, that can knock it down a little bit. Uh, Oracle was the other one <clears throat> that I was kind of watching. Um, kind of the same sort of thing on this as Adobe. There's no real indicators of a pullback necessarily yet. You could say the MACD is starting to slope over, but if you get a strong day, that's just going to straighten out. So um, let's see. Let's look and see what we got here. Uh, Okay, so let me get rid of this alert here. So you've got the 200-day the moving average. That's, that's the thing I'm gonna be watching there. So if that breaks below that, um, 
that would probably be my entry. That was probably my alert that I just deleted. Um, so if it breaks below that, closes below that, and then continues the following day, that would probably be where I look for entry. But see how this is starting to, I mean, this could be approaching uh, overbought here in this area. And um, I, I usually look for two uh, dark blue bars on TTM before um, you know, confirming direction change. So I'd want to see another dark blue bar, this starting to flat or, or hook over, and then we need to close below the 200 day moving average and a continuation on that too. Um, and then at that point you can do like a, you know, I mean, your price is going to change a little bit at this point, but uh, you can do um, 48 with your bottom. So yeah, and you've got pretty good volume and open interest there. That's interesting. Um, so let's just see what the spreads are. Um, 45 on a $1 wide spread. Yeah, that's not too bad. Or you can do, of course, straight puts and that sort of thing here too. And then um, Pepsi. Um, Pepsi, this is a weird one. I did a, I, I bought some calls here at the bottom and into the earnings run up. I think we played it somewhere around here. Um, I, I know I had a decent profit on that one, but this thing has, <laughs> I mean, look at that run there. Um, if you bought a long enough call and just held that all through that, I mean, that that's that's a heck of a run. Um, we went from 97.50 up to, where are we up to 117 up here? Um, I don't, there's a little bit of resistance area where it's at now too, but again, I don't see any signs of it rolling over just yet. You need to wait. You know, you need four or five days where this thing is just not pushing through that area. If you get some market weakness, whatever, you could have a nice pullback down to that 200 day moving average too. So that, that might be um, one to watch for on entry. And then one last thing too on, I did pick up some um, puts on SPY here. Uh, oh, let me go back here real quick. So here's my, uh, support resistance areas a little bit. It, it, we're kind of light in there, but there is something, there's kind of something there too. Um, it kind of trades in that area. It's, I, dude, I don't know what all these great boxes are. Uh, let's see, we'll take those off real quick. Um, I'll show you something. Uh, I've got a, um, put spread. I think, I think it was two weeks out on this thing. Uh, let me see if I can, show you kind of why uh, wow that is not what i wanted to do okay so um we're gonna do i'm gonna show you this real quick maybe Jeez. all right um <clears throat> oh here we go okay so forget that one for a second all right so i don't know what i'm doing here well what I don't know. Anyway, usually this thing draws circles. I don't know what it's doing right now. Who knows? Forget that. Okay, so look, see the, there's kind of a hump here. If you kind of draw some circles, there's kind of a uh, cycle there, a cycle there, a cycle there. Well, same thing here, but look, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we, we've kind of been doing the same thing for a while. We've been trending up, which is fine, but um, I've got a, what have I got, a 280.50, and 280 put spreads. So that looks like uh, something like this. Let me draw that in here real quick. So yeah, so somewhere in there. So, and I think it's all the way out to here. So um, bam, somewhere in there. Okay, so that gray area there kind of represents where my put spread strikes are at, the top and bottom one. So if it's under that at this point right here, um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at it, that's a good possibility. It's going to be under this right in here. If you're kind of following this same sort of trend, I mean, we could get down into, you know, 277 area, I think pretty easily. You got a little bit of, uh, support resistance, 276, something like that too. So anyway, so that's the, um, ones I've been, uh, watching a little bit here for next week. Um, I started watching those a little bit yesterday um, for today, but didn't see any good entry points or anything yet. Um, but that I would definitely watch markets here this next week too, because there's a few things that are looking like it's setting up for a pullback here possibly. So um, I don't think anything major, but anyway, so watch um, Adobe, uh, let's see, CRM, um, FedEx, Lowe's, Oracle, Pepsi. I think those are the ones no earnings coming up. 
and some possible trade setups for it too. Um, Disney, they do have earnings coming up, but otherwise it's kind of, that's cool. All right. So, um, <laughs> no idea what that just did. All right. So, uh, Disney, same sort of thing. You got a little bit of resistance area that's maybe setting up to roll over a little bit. It's had a pretty good run there too. So, all right. Let, let me know what you think about, um, you know, if we do some different charts going through just sort of some of the stuff I'm looking at. And um, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And, and then we can do some of these uh, every couple of days or something. So, and uh, I think that's it.